research in Italy where they came out and said they found neutrinos traveling faster than the speed of light, right? Which, School us on exactly what they found and where well, that stands What now. happened was that the, 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 the CERN experiment produces neutrinos, and just like, uh, j just like uh, Janet was saying, in, uh, here in the United States, we we're going to produce them in one place and detect them in another. In, in, in Europe, they were producing them at CERN, and they were going to detect, detect them in a, in a, in a tunnel, in a, in a, actually an automobile tunnel in Italy. And what the claim was was that when, when they detected these neutrinos, they, know, they thought they knew the distance pretty well with GPS, the neutrinos were arriving 60 nanoseconds too early. And, fat, and that suggested they were going faster than light. We, we all knew it was wrong. Uh, I knew it was wrong for one obvious reason, that I, it, it, nothing arrives early in Italy, if you've ever been there. <laughs> but, 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 uh, uh, but in fact, the trouble was that it, it, it's, it, physics is not a set of little empires. It, the, the, the speed of light is an absolute speed limit. It's not just a dictum that's used somewhere. It's an integral part of all the rest of our ideas. And for that to be the case for neutrinos and not violate something else was so astounding that, that most theorists realized it was wrong. And indeed, we now understand there's an experimental flaw. What excites you most about what is unknown about neutrinos and what else there is to know about things we haven't even thought of yet? Well, well I, I can take yes, a, a right. first shot at it from a, a very practical point of view. I already mentioned uh, that neutrinos look like the canary in the coal mine for the standard model. And I think, you know, if we create a... You, we have actually a pretty vibrant neutrino program in the United States, which includes a, a, the Ice Cube experiment. And I think... The, it may very well be that neutrino physics leads us to, to the next level, the next uh, level of understanding of the structure of matter. It doesn't have to be the LHC. It could be the LHC, could be neutrinos, it could be both. And I have no doubt that the world eventually somewhere will pursue both. But I think using the neutrinos now as a tool to, to study the, the universe at a deeper level, I think that's, uh, that's for me the future of, the, of this field. I have no doubt that neutrinos, I cannot see the day that neutrinos will be boring. <laughs> yeah. so, so for me, uh, you know, we've, we've made, we've talked about the things that we know about neutrinos in this discussion. There's a great deal going on in neutrino physics that um, is very peculiar. There are anomalies. There are quite a few anomalies in neutrino physics. I don't try to discuss them here because I don't know which ones will survive as we do tests of these and which ones will go away. I think some fraction will certainly go away. But it's, it's very rich in the surprising things that we're already seeing. And, uh, and I'm really an experimentalist at heart. I was born an experimentalist in the sense that I don't want to tell nature what to do. I want nature to tell me what it's doing, right? And I think it's telling me through these neutrinos. And uh, so I am really excited about what I think we can learn, even over a very short time, in the next few years.